Thank you for presenting that little message in the thumbnail, Stepney. Now onto the video itself. Welcome to what I can comfortably say is the most difficult video I've ever had to make. I've been hiding this stuff under the rug for what feels like a toad's age, not the Great Western Brake Van mind, and I think it's about time I explained what's going on on my end. Sometimes I still wonder why I bother making videos, since I've been getting very annoyed with the low view counts recently, and wondering how and why other smaller NZ train channels routinely get more views than me. But that's not as major a concern as my deteriorating mental state. In all honesty, I've been on a downward spiral since this fucking virus first appeared in March 2020, and we're STILL being forced to deal with it and the government's piss-poor effort to keep it under control at the expense of damaging people's mental health. We've been in this mess for two years, for fuck's sake! And to quote a Twisted Sister song, we're not gonna take it anymore! I think that's quite enough of me ranting about the pandemic and politics, so I suppose it's time to move on to the rest of what I have to say. I feel burnt out in many ways, since I often work my ass off to get videos done and consequently lack sufficient time to engage in my other hobbies, like trying to get a basic layout set up for my model locomotives. And whilst I do try to put out at least one video a day, that's coming at the expense of me losing motivation and ideas. I know that uploading loads of videos can potentially work wonders, like in the first few weeks of the Boston Sprinter route and TSW being released, but I just can't bring myself to do that anymore when I've lost so much motivation. Recently, I've really struggled to balance making decent quality videos with making enough of them to keep the channel going, even if only barely. On average, the whole channel gets a subpar 1,000 to 2,000 views a day, when I'd prefer it to be in the five figures, <laughs> fat chance, and I'm starting to see my video making process as a wasted effort. Someone left a comment on a previous video of mine, calling me a giant of the New Zealand rail fanning scene, even though I respectfully disagree, since I don't really interact with the community too much, outside of the New Zealand Locomotives Facebook group, and I barely know what's going on. Frankly, I'm getting very bored of just seeing DLs all the time, or as I like to call them, dolls, Chinese dragons, or Dalian lemons, and I get extremely angry when I hear of rare or unique workings in Wellington, or anywhere else for that matter, that I'd like to go and see, but can't due to various time and financial constraints. I mean, have you seen the price of petrol recently? Fucking hell, it's getting over three dollars a litre now! Regardless of the insane petrol prices, I really am sick of Tauranga always getting the boring shit that is the DLs and almost never getting anything rare or unique. Meanwhile, in Auckland, Wellington, and just about everywhere else, hardly a week seems to go by without something rare that gets the foamers out in droves. I absolutely despise missing out on rare movements, like when DC's 4847 and 4191 went to Auckland, or when a pair of VFs recently got taken down to Wellington on train 261. And I also absolutely hate seeing other people, who in some cases I don't like in the slightest, essentially flexing with their own photographs of those rare engines. It just drives me up the fucking wall. And it doesn't help when I don't find any information about these rare movements until after they've happened. Isn't that just fantastic? Either that's my fault for not doing enough research, or word doesn't spread fast enough until after the fact. Currently I'm wondering why I still bother filming train spotting videos when they nearly always feature nothing but boring regular services hauled by nothing but DLs, DLs, DLs and more fucking DLs. They're so bloody boring it's like trying to survive the lessons at Otumotai College and that's saying a hell of a lot. Compared to seemingly every other New Zealand Rail fans videos, mine are just a boring and repetitive joke and on those occasions where I do go and film something interesting, it still seems to get surpassed by some other video from, insert channel names here, that will undoubtedly do better, despite their subscriber counts often being lower than mine. I really have had enough of this mess.
As for specific videos I've made recently, and why I've made them in the first place, I don't know why I've been so afraid of people with certain interests leaving. That's why I've tended to make videos about specific yet random topics. I don't really reflect what I'm like as a person, and I feel like I was just pandering to these people. Examples include TS 2022 gameplay videos about modern UK trains like the Lumo Class 803, Thameslink Class 700, and Southeastern Class 465. Lots of German TSW2 videos, which barely go anywhere, especially that one I made about the BR155. All my Boston Sprinter videos and that pointless locomotive spotlight series I tried. And now that I think about it, that just seems like nothing more than a blatant ripoff of Pensy Fan 19's Remarkable Engine series. As for my own series, I decided to cancel it after just 8 episodes, because I simply had no interest in making it anymore. I'm seriously considering going on a video making hiatus, but part of me is afraid that it'll kill my channel numbers faster than you can say General Electric P32ACDM. The other, more rational part of me knows that numbers on a screen are somewhat insignificant in the long run. Another problem is that I don't know what else to do besides work on the channel, since outside of YouTube my life is pretty goddamn boring. Big surprise. Whilst I do retain some friends from my school days, they're all so incredibly busy these days, and consequently I've been a very lonely person since I gave up on college in 2017. Even back in those days I often felt like I was an outcast. Actually, come to think of it, it's like that chorus line in that song from the motels where, where Martha Davis sings, Only the Lonely Can Play. Sometimes I do still get to see these old friends of mine, and I don't mean locomotives like DC4260 or JA1271, but these catch-ups are so rare that they could give poorly cooked steak a run for its money. Okay, dumb jokes aside, my weakened social life is one of the many reasons I invested so much time and effort into this channel, but since it's barely going anywhere, I'm lost for what I can do to pass the time. Even so, I honestly think it's wrong to continue making videos when I'm not 69% enjoying it, let alone 100%, and seemingly only caring about the numbers. I know that our viewers and subscribers are real people with their own personalities, hobbies, interests, etc, and I'm frankly amazed and grateful that anyone has taken the time to click on, watch, and enjoy my shitty videos. In the event that I do stop uploading, even if only temporary, I can't imagine anyone would miss me too much, if at all. All these communities, like, you know, Rail Fanning, Train Simulator, Train Sim World 2, and possibly any others that I can think of, like the YouTube poop community, they're probably much better off without an irrational idiot like me. But then there's the fact that I still don't know what else to do with my time. The fact that I still haven't got a proper job doesn't help matters, but I'm worried that in my current state, which isn't New York or Florida mind, I wouldn't be able to hold down a job very long, let alone one that I'd actually enjoy. Plus, I'd probably have to wear a fucking mask the whole time, and those things get my blood boiling so high it's like if a steam locomotive safety valves were going off all the time. At the end of the day, I think I probably should stop making and uploading videos until I'm in a better state. Not Arkansas or North Dakota, I mean a better state of mind. Hopefully once I've cleared my mind, I will have got my motivation back, but at this point, who knows. I sincerely apologise to all of you who watch and subscribe to this channel, but in all honesty, I just can't keep making videos for now. Certainly not on a daily basis anyway. For ages, I've been holding off discussing these things and how I'm doing mentally, because for the longest time I've been worried sick over how it would affect my channel and what you, the viewers and subscribers, might think about me. I might still make videos about that unique DP2 locomotive, the Harlem Line and TSW2, the occasional train spotting video or YTP, but if none of that happens then consider this my last video for god knows how long. You lot deserve so much better than this ugly and burnt out prat who, more often than not, makes videos that he doesn't truly enjoy. And now I'm left wondering, where do we go from here? <laughs>